Good evening, another quick video, uh, this time recovering some uh, surface mount LEDs and resistors off this uh, strip that uh, is no longer sticky. Um, I've started at the other end, I thought uh, while I had the camera still on the bench that I would uh, make another video. And for this we're going to be using, let's turn it the right way around for you, uh, RS Components heat gun. I've had this for a lot of years. Um, I suppose you can still buy them. Um, 1500 watt. Uh, I'm sure you could buy them in B&Q as paint stripper guns or whatever but uh, these are sold by RS as electronics uh, tools. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it on to uh, hot hot enough to melt the solder and flip the components off. And the technique is to flip the components off without melting them completely and just grab the resistors like that. Um, you can see the reason why I'm doing this on a piece of wood simply because uh, you wouldn't want to do this on your kitchen table. There we go. And I shall uh, cover all of those bits. But that's it. Bit of noise, but uh, it's as quick as that. Uh, just heat the thing up um, and recover surface mount resistors. Uh, sorry, surface mount. Well, surface mount resistors. Wherever they are, let's get the uh, tiny tweezers out. There we go. Um, hold that up to the lens, you can just about see that. Um, if it can focus that close. And also, these are RGB LED modules. Um, and as you see, there's not, because they're not heated for any length of time, there's no damage at all on them. Um, if you, uh, obviously, if I sat here blasting them continuously too close um, I could probably melt the plastic on them and turn them into little blobs of scrap but uh, you just do it the right amount and uh, you can see that um, they, they turn out okay uh, what I would recommend doing though is not actually touching the end of the heat gun now for a good 15 minutes because it will be rather warm there you go just another little video thanks very much don't forget to subscribe